Hi everyone, welcome to a Chandler's channel. I'm Tracy and I'm your host. And this is our topic of the week session. And our topic of the week is fear. And the reason I chose fear is because we are a nation of fear. We fear in our everyday. We fear if we don't get house insurance, our house will you know, burn down. If we don't get car insurance, we're going to get into an accident. We fear if we don't wear the right clothing to fit in with the people at work or at school or if our clothes aren't name brand, we fear. Or if we're, as a female, if we're not wearing the makeup that's trendy or goes with our face shape or our eye shape or our hair isn't cut the way it should be. Fear, fear, fear. I mean, it's in advertising. It's in when we speak. It is it is everywhere. It just permeates our life. And in doing so, it, you know, it paralyzes us. And, and, and the energy that we carry with us is not as fluid um, or as joyful as it, as it could be. So without further ado, I will go get the guy and I will see what he has to say regarding fear. Indeed. Fear, it most definitely, he says, permeates our everyday life. He says, and if I have one wish for you today here, children, he says, is that you walk without fear and that you walk in peace, hope, and faith. And as always, uh, when I'm just having a chat with White Hawk, we're on horseback. He has a beautiful white one, and I have a, a beautiful cognac one. And it does have a calming, relaxing effect. And he says, yes, there is no fear here. Will we ride today? Is there, Tracy? And I say, no. He says, indeed, nature is a very powerful healer he says of fear he says so one way indeed to rid ourselves of fear uh, is to get out of doors he says to uh, get outside to turn off the television and not listen to the negative news he says that is being broadcast he says indeed those are a couple of ways to get away from the fear he says, but one of the biggest ways to get away from fear, he says, and as he says that, I see Jesus uh, come walking through this big, black, misty cloud of fear, for that's indeed how the energy can come and, and surround us and permeate us as this big, black, uh, thick cloud. And Jesus comes walking right through that cloud, no problem. And... Uh, He's in his white robe, and he's got his, his lovely brown locks, uh, you know, the long ones. And um, he says, indeed, my children, and he's talking to us, and there's a bunch of us, and we're, we're all uh, dressed in white, and we're, there's many children, and, but the, and the adults and our parents are standing behind, and they're in white. And he comes through, and he says, Indeed, my children, I do not want you to walk in fear. No one says that you have to walk in fear, he says. We are here as a nation to help each other, he says. You should not have to walk in fear, my children. I have never taught you to walk in fear. I have told you to move forward in faith, in peace, he says, in serenity, in knowing that you are always protected, always guarded, always safe. And then someone sort of pipes up from the crowd and they're like, but what about all these terrorist attacks that have been going on and so on and so forth. And he's like, yes, these have been horrible atrocities, he says. 
but for every one of those, he says, that has been committed, how many great acts of charity, he says, of donation, of happiness, of love have been committed. And everybody's kind of caught off guard by that, yet they, they think about it, they ponder it. And he says, yes, how many? And we're like, a lot. And they're like, it's like, yes, a lot, thousands, millions. There are more good people, he says, in this world than there are bad. And there's no doubt, he says, that indeed there are bad, and that indeed they, they can come in and they can create these atrocities, which in turn can create fear, which in turn can create terror. He says, but we have to hold on to that shred of light, to that shred of peace, he says, that there are more good people in the world than there are bad. For if you hold on to the notion that there are more bad people in the world, then you bring that to you. You, you attract that to you, he says, to us. Do not allow fear to control you, to run us, he says, as a nation. For then if we do, then this is what occurs. These atrocities that we speak of are what occur, he says. We need to hold on to and think, he says, that we are safe always. No matter when these atrocities occur, he says, we have to hold on to the hope. We have to hold on to the faith. We need to know we are safe and we are protected. And he says, For I assure you, there are more of us, meaning him, Jesus, that was in the spirit world. There are more of us than there are there of you, he says. And we watch over you every single minute of your life, he says. But you do not believe that. I hear that, he says. I feel that. I know that, he says. But I need you to hear me today. And with that came a lot of sadness in him. I felt that sadness go through him. And he said yes. I need for you to hear me today, children, small and big, he says. I need for you to know that you are loved and that I love you and that I have always loved you and will always love you, he says, no matter. But we cannot be a nation of fear. We cannot walk forward in fear. And everybody's kind of just listening and a little dazed by what he said, but a little more calm by what he said, knowing that there are more of them than there are more of us. Go forward, he says, with that newfound information and make your peace with yourself, with your family, with your neighbor, he says. Make your peace with your neighbor, with your nation. And I assure you, in turn, my children, good things, positive things, will come your way. Not bad things. And he says, be blessed, my children. Be blessed. Move forward in peace, not fear, in hope, not despair, in faith, not uncertainty. God bless, children. God bless. Well, there you go. The big guy came to see us to speak, finally, and I adore him. I always feel so much calmer, so much better uh, when he's around. So 
thank you for watching and listening. We'll see you back here uh, next week for the weekly reading. And then our topic of the week will be on loss, of course, uh, unless, of course, something um, has happened uh, during my week that sparks me the need to speak about another important topic. So go faith in peace and hope and faith, and we'll see you back here again. God bless. I'm Tracy for Chandler's Channel.